going on everyone? RC84 here like always. Thanks for watching. Well my friends, check out what I have here on the RC Workstation. My friends, this is the Trail Finder 2 from RC4 Drive. My first ever RC4 Drive vehicle. I've never owned one of their vehicles. I've been looking at their vehicles for quite some time and I just really never got motivated to buy one until my buddy Paul came down with his Trail Finder 2. I saw it. I fell in love with it. Just the scaleness of it, the performance, how well it performed out there on the trails and on the rocks. I was just like, oh my god, this thing is amazing. So I went ahead and bought it. Instead of buying the RTR like I always did or do, I went ahead and bought the kit version because the kit version comes with a few more extra parts than what the RTR comes with it. Like this comes with a two-speed transmission. I've never owned an RC vehicle that had a two-speed transmission before, so I ended up getting this right here. Uh, it's got the R3 transmission, uh, B-locked rims, the 4x4 system. Really love the artwork on the box here. This is definitely something I'll be cutting up and putting up on the wall because I, I do that with all my RCs. Now this is the kit version, so it does not have the electronics, your your uh, ESC, your, uh, the motor, the servos. You got to add all that stuff, which I have all the parts right over here, and I'll talk about those. All right, so my friends, uh, back to the box. <laughs> Lovely box, nice, very nice. As you see, very very nice. I like, I like. <laughs> Uh, over here on the side, just gives you the dimensions and shows you the vehicle. Uh, over on the back, gives you a uh, a look at the chassis itself, which looks really sweet. Look at this. Look, 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 look. <laughs> uh, as you see there, the transmission, some of the features as well. Uh, just really awesome vehicle. I like this top picture well. I, I like that a lot better than the side picture. Uh, yeah, so yeah. So that is it so let's take a look at the parts that I got for it so let's spin it around Woo! <laughs> all right so let's take a look at the parts that I bought now my buddy Paul who had you know told you had the troll finder too he has a lot of knowledge on these vehicles he's very smart in RC he's a lot smarter than I am at it uh, he knows a lot so he came up the list he gave me the stuff he's like man this is what I should have gotten when I bought my trail finder, but he's like, I got the RTR because I didn't know much at the time, but now it's like, I know a lot about this stuff. And he's like, this is what I should have done. So let me show you guys what I have here. So first off, we'll start with the motor. This is RC full drive 540 series, the 55 turn motor. He said to go with this one. And he's like, you don't need to go with the 35 or the 45. He said the 55 would be good for you. That way you have the torque ability. Plus you have the two-speed transmission, so you'll have the higher or lower gear, no higher gear for the speed ability, but you'll have that low gear for crawling and major amounts of torque. So that's what I ended up purchasing. He said also the next thing you want to do for your trial finder is replace the screws. Get rid of the factory screws and go with the stainless steel. So I got this. Uh, from Team KNK, the Trail Finder 2 stainless steel screws. It's uh, 269 pieces, and uh, it actually has it all labeled in there, which uh, it shows you the label of each screw pack, which is very nice. That way, I don't have to really track them down too much and find out which one which. But uh, it's really nice. So uh, yeah. Now the next thing he recommended was uh, two parts from Doghouse, not Dog. Bauhaus, <laughs> Bauhaus RC. Uh, first off is the uh, a more uh, slimmer hand. It's a, a low profile skid plate. All right. He said the stock one. It's cool. It's all right. But he's like it grabs on a lot of things. It'll dig up stuff. It'll grab hold of the rocks, logs, whatever. He's like go with a low clearance one, and that way. Uh, you won't have the problem, so you get a little bit more clearance ability where you're crawling. Next thing he said was these rear leaf sh shackles. Uh, supposedly, it's supposed to make it more flexibility, I think, or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I'm still learning myself on this, all right? Now, the next thing we have is the ESC, which I went with a Traxxas. Uh, <laughs> not Traxxas. I'm looking at Traxxas because I have a Traxxas vehicle sitting over there. But I have an Axial ESC. This is the AE5L uh, ESC with LED light port. So it has the lights in there. It's the same one as in my uh, 
in my <laughs> SCX-10 too. I, I'm getting tongue-tied here, my friends, because I got my, some of my RCs looking over at me. I'm like, okay, I got my tracks, I got my axle. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm getting a little mixed up, but I decided to go with this ESC because I've had, you know, you know, good reviews with the one in my uh, SCX-10. And uh, I really like it, so with the light kit as well, so that way if I want to add lights to the trial finder, which I probably will down the road, I have the ESC to do it or running a uh, servo or some extra lights or whatever. Now let's talk about the servos. All right, so I got the servo here. It's a Cybox. 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 Sign not fine. I don't know. But yeah, I uh, got this servo for the two-speed transmission. I uh, don't really need a torquey one. This is uh, only has like 6.0 torque. Uh, speed of 0 0.13 and a weight is 46.0. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, that's the servo for that. Uh, the next servo I got is from RC4 Wheel Drive. This is the Twister High Torque Metal uh, Gear Digital Servo. If you guys want to see the part number for that, there it is. If you can see it, there you go. Uh, all right, so that is all the parts for the vehicle. So I'm going to twist around and come back over here. So that way we can undock the vehicle itself. So let's get some of the stuff moved out the way. We're going to move this out the way. We'll move this out the way. Move this out the way. Should not drink a Starbucks. No, nah, I don't drink Starbucks. <laughs> no, but I did have a Yoohoo before I started this video, so I'm kind of a little hyped up, and I was like, yeah, you know, you who you can't go wrong with you who All right, <laughs> all right, so we put that over in a nice little neat pal. Let's uh, we'll move our little stand out the way. So let's go ahead and break up on the box, which I've gone ahead and done, guys. I'll be honest with you, when I first got it in, I tore it open like it's Christmas morning. Really just <laughs> Tore all up in there. I even got the box here that sells Trail Finder 2. Now, funny story on this, I've been waiting weeks for this vehicle to come in. I actually ordered it uh, September the 8th. I placed the order. It was shipped out on the 10th, but then it got delayed due to Hurricane Florence. Her little butt had to come in here to North Carolina and try to destroy us. She did a almost good job, but we are strong southern people and we can fight it. So we're strong. <laughs> That's why they have the new slogan, NC Strong. Because we're strong. You know, we bounce back. You know, yeah, you might destroy or flood us, but we're still going to come back with better and newer things. But yeah. But yeah, it got, del it got delayed there for a while. So I've been on the phone with Amen Hobbies and UPS. UPS, I mean, honestly, I mean, UPS is great. I get a lot of package, but this is the first time that I had something go wrong. Like, when I asked them, it's like, the last update I had was on the 14th, and it's in Hoggins, Illinois, and that was the last scan date, so they didn't know where the truck was, and so they did have to do an investigation, I called A-Man about it, they had to track it down as well, and uh, apparently they said the truck was there in your area, but was kind of just left out there at the uh, UPS uh, factory store, or delivery store and uh, just never scanned it in so but it's here <laughs> so let's go ahead and break it open and see what is inside I know what's inside do you guys know what's inside all right so I'll tilt it to the side here and hopefully nothing will fall out da, 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 da. Ah. so here it is nice and packaged well look at that Alright, so first off we have the Trail Finder 2 manual, which is also always an important thing when it comes to your manuals. You want to keep these things around, you definitely want to read them, find out what the vehicle and uh, the parts and stuff like that, which I'm definitely going to be using this as I put it together. Uh, as you can see here, nice detailed, I really like how they got you know nice size pictures showing you the parts and stuff like that. Uh, it also shows you what you're going to be needing for it. You know, your hex driver, thread lock, your cross wrench, and your long nose, needle nose pliers, <laughs> which I got those around. And uh, just everything that you need to know. And uh, with all this, I have to 
Uh, what, it's going to be the most time consuming thing of putting this vehicle together is changing out the screws because I'm going from factory screws to stainless steel screws. So that's going to be the kicker right there. Or the ticker. Kicker? Ticker? Kicker? Ticker? I don't know. Alright, so let's see. The next thing we have here is the RC Full Drive Assembly Combo Pack. This has uh, 30 weight, no, 35 weight shock oil. We have some transmission grease and. Some thread lock, a really, really tiny thread lock. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at next thing. Here you go. Yeah, let's see. Maybe we can do this. Could we do it? Could we do it? Let's just prop it up. I want to prop it up where you know we can take a look at it so you guys can see it. Well, my nice little pile just went down. All right, shove a tire on there. That should be good. All right, so we got our tires here. I really want to take a look at those. Look at these, my friends. These are RC full drive mud thrasher scale off road tires, 37 by 13.5 R15. That is pretty cool. Uh, if you guys can see that, got these nice uh, aluminum beadlock rims, white, yeah. and the tread pattern looks pretty good. I really like those. All right, so we got the rims and tires out the way. Let's go to the next one. I'm um, put these back in the bag because I don't want to lose anything right yet. <laughs> Alright, I'll put that right there. Got the other set of tires right there. Yeah. Alright, so... Any, mini, mini, mo. Let's go ahead and get this bag right here. This looks like it has the axles and the dry shaft. Uh, my axles and the transmission. I don't know why I'm putting dry shafts for. Let's take a look at these. Wow. Look at these. Oh. I know you're saying, well, let me look. I can't see. Very, very nice quality grade metal there, my friends. Look like a, look at that. Very nice. Super awesome. Of course, I got to change out all the screws on this thing. They're already pre-built for you, but they do recommend opening it up, put a little grease inside, uh, you know, to touch up on the grease they put. But I gotta change out all these screws in this thing to the stainless steel ones. So, uh, pretty nice actually. Alright, let's put these back in the bag so I don't lose those or anything happen to them. Alright, we're gonna stick that one right there. Let's take a look at the next bag here, or the same bag. <laughs> this, my friends, is the transmission. Look! How big the transmission is, my friends. So we got our motor mount right there for the motor. Now the uh, spur gear is, I oh, see, is 64T and 32P. All right. Uh, so yeah. Also, we got our transfer case right there. Let's see if I can get, you know, uh, somewhere right, right there. It's the transfer case, and it's really, very nice. I mean. Great. Like I said, I gotta break this open and grease it too as well. Alright, so we're gonna put that to the side. We're gonna put that in there. We'll drop the bag right there and see where it is. Alright, our next bag of goodies. We got bag D. It's nice that they label this stuff for you. Looks like the uh, front bumper's axial, the uh, fuel cell receiver box. Uh, got some, uh, yeah, the bumpers. Some other stuff like that. We'll put that one to the side. Let's go to the next one. This is bag A, and bag A has the shocks right there. Also, um, should be our leaf springs. Yep, leaf springs right there. The shocks are 80 millimeter and uh, slash 100 millimeter. So we got the 80, which I think the 80 goes on the front, and the hundreds go on the back of it, uh, which I'll find out. It looks like we got some oil leaking. Mmm. Wonder about that. <laughs> All right, uh, next one. Uh, let's see. We got the skid plate, which is actually metal. Uh, some other stuff for it as well. Not exactly sure all of it, but it's there. All right. And next thing is the standard hardware kit or bag. And look at this. It actually has all the screws labeled which is really nice so I don't have to try it down and like match up the screws and stuff like that some of the kits I built in the past you had to like find the screw and match it up and it's like that 
that's no fun. So this makes it a lot easier to do. So, but uh, we're not going to be using this bag actually. We're going to be using the stainless steel one. So get rid of the metal ones. All right, throw it down to the side. Well, not throw it. Gently lay it down. <laughs> All right. So next is the uh, the chassis rails. I really actually want to tear these open and look at it. Let's see. Chassis rails, chassis rails. Come on up. That, my friends, look at it. Very, very nice, very thick chassis rail, as you can see. A lot different than the uh, SDX-10s, which has more of a hollow background. These are actually just solid. And look, RC four-wheel drive. <laughs> I like that, my friends. I really do. That's gonna be nice. So it gives you a good, you know, good idea of how long the vehicle is. See, I ain't gonna measure it for you. I'm not gonna do everything for you guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, next is the body shell. The Mahajab, my mom job, my ba, my dad, my job. Yeah. <laughs> Now this is a hard body shell, which is really very nice to have a hard shell body shell. That let's do. All right, let's see. How can we get this out? He says, "Duba, duba." I'm gonna get this out the box. It's got a nice tight fit. Let's put the box over. <laughs> Guys, uh, just have a little fun here. You're excited about it, and and all this. All right. Yeah, <laughs> all right. I know you guys look like you're weird, man. You're weird, but you know what? RCing is all about having fun and enjoying yourself, and that's what this obviously is for me: having fun, and enjoying it. And when I do these videos, I want to have fun doing them. You don't have to be all serious. Like, yeah, we have the Trail Finder Two here from RC Four Wheel Drive. It's uh, one ten scale. Yeah, yeah. Who wants that? I, I, I'm not going to do that anymore. But let's go ahead and look at the body. Here it is. It's underneath the package here. Well, we got some stickers here. A lot of different, uh, you know, stickers saying for sale by owner. Uh, we got some uh, bumper stickers and some other things. Whatnot and whatnot. Uh, stickers. Um, I guess there's a little pamphlet in there. Not exactly sure but what is all in the package. You know how we can find out? We tear it open. That's how we find out what is in it. I tore it, but I didn't tore it all the way. I tore it way below the line. Well, you know what? I'll fix that. Ha ha ha. Pack it, meat, scissors. Scissors? I mean, pack it. Scissors always wins. Unless you're playing rock, paper, scissors. Does the rock beat the scissors, or does the scissors beat the rock? Hmm. That's not a good idea. <laughs> All right, so we got stickers, stickers. Ah, stickers are in another packet. Pretty cool. And it's a Ziploc bag. I like that. Ah. Okay. So the body shell has its own manual. Ain't that something? The truck itself has a manual, and the body shell has its own manual too. Look at that, my friends. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Requires glue. Instant glue or plastic cement. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'll just put that right over here. Oh. Uh, a little like tie straps and the mirrors and stuff like that. Not mobile. Well, fell out the bag, but it's okay. It's all right. All right, so let's take a look. There's the body shell. And it's gray primer look, which is sweet. That way, it's already kind of like prep for painting. Just got to do a little prepping. So we got this one bag here that has uh, looks like the rear cab. Uh, the lights, uh, the bumpers, all chrome as well too. So I have to pick a color to gonna go with the chrome. But not so I want to paint it all that color. But yeah, so we got the bag here, and like we got the uh, interior dashboard and stuff like that. All right. So one more look. 
There it is. Go ahead and pull it out. Take a look at it. Well, look at this, my friends. Nice. Got the uh, Lexan uh, windshield. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Nice. Really, really dig this. All right, so let's put it down to the side. We're gonna go for the bed. Look, 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 look. <laughs> All right. But yeah, my friends, the bed has that drop-in bed feature on it, which is really nice. So you can put whatever scale sets your items. You want to throw some tires in the back. Hey, got a tire in the back. <laughs> and that tire had dirt in it. And it's, it's in my body shell now. I'm just... <laughs> but yeah, really, really nice. Actually, let me grab. Oh. Like so, it goes in like so. And there we go, the dupe boys. There you go. That, my friends, looks very, very sweet. Yeah. Well, I think that's it, my friends. There's nothing left in the box, I don't think. Is there anything left in the box? No, nothing left in the box, my friends. So, I guess that's it for the video. So, hopefully you guys will follow me on with this build. Now, um, I'm going to try to film as much as I possibly can. But most of this vehicle is going to be done off the camera. Because, with this being my first true scale leaf spring truck. I do want to take my time on it. I don't want to really rush through it and get it done right quick. I want to take my time on it and just do it the right way and do some of the stuff that needs to be done to this vehicle to make it perform like a champ. And so, uh, so yeah. All right. Well, I have nothing else to say. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, something you want to see here on the channel, hey, comment down below. Uh, also, give this video a thumbs up. I know it's pretty long. I'm looking right now, it's like 22 minutes long. So I'm sorry, my friends. Hopefully, during the editing process, I can cut it down just a few more seconds for y'all so I don't take up all your time. So, my friends, thanks again for watching, and I hope y'all follow me on this build. And uh, it's going to be pretty epic. I can't wait to get out there on the trails and see what this vehicle can do with my hands on it. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching and I'll check y'all out later.